special treatment. You were doing it because you love doing it, I guess. Yeah. You're on dedication, so you have to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. You do it to get it over with, and then another race comes around, you do the same thing. If you don't think on time, you shouldn't anyway, you have to think on how quick you can get it done, not how long it takes. You know. So, uh, the trick was when you're in good shape, it's easier when you're on the job. About that, it's easy. It's no difference. I was always in fairly good shape, and I always worked no matter what it was. You know, if you're in shape, you're in shape. You're going to do it. If it's a job to be done. You do it. Well, if I'm not race walking, I'll still have to do it anyway. What did you do at General Motors? Uh, material handling. I worked in the parts warehouse. And what did they do? Well, it's parts, parts and service, send parts out to dealers all over Canada, all over the world. Mm -hmm. And did, uh, did you have any time for your music on the side? I didn't train much with music when I was race walking. My timing used to get into the race walking, and the timing wasn't that good in music. So I guess I was geared up for the races, not music, you know? Mm -hmm. So now that you retired from General Motors, you have a little bit more time for uh, playing music? I do if I stay at it, but I just go at it again and do it for more or less a recreation a little bit. Mm -hmm. No dedication to it, you know. Well, you do quite a bit of, uh, I mean, you built a house by yourself, and uh, you own several properties, so each one of them requires quite a bit of your, your time, so. I guess a bit too much, you know. A little uh, hard to sit around practicing music when you have all these things going on around you. Well, I suppose you know. But, uh, you know I get a pension anyway, so I'm, I'm all right. I get enough to live off of. So I'm not taking a job on anybody else if I don't play the music, banquets or something. Maybe give young person jobs. You know, mm -hmm. there's two ways to look at those things. If the young people can't do it, then maybe I'll do it. It is work, though. You're almost better off just to do it for pleasure. Yeah. And enjoy it. Sometimes when I'm playing, it's. I wish I was someplace else. Loading up the equipment, carrying big speakers in and out of places, up and down stairs. Sure, there's work to it, yeah. And, and then the sound check, setting the equipment up, getting all the sound ready, and doing it all in an hour's space of time. If you're lucky, if you yeah, find a place sure in time. I don't have all that sound, big sound equipment and everything. I just play sometimes with a group or lend a hand. You know. Well, we play with seven or eight guys, and you have to do sound checks to get all the microphones balanced. And then <coughs> you, you get the sound setting just nice, and then uh, the room fills up with people, and you got to do the sound check all over again. Oh, yeah. Because <coughs> the, the sound reflection is different when it's yeah. in full room, yeah. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot. What, does the room get liquefied or anything with electricity? No, their, their, their clothing soaks up the sound. Oh, yeah. That's right. And uh, <coughs> if you have the, the PA system turned up real loud, a lot of times if somebody on the stage moves from one position to another, you'll start hearing a feedback, and everybody will be looking around at each other to see who moved. And then whoever moved has to stay in one place. Yeah. That's usually if the acoustics are real bad and you get stuck on a tiny little stage where your monitors are, are sort of like facing right at your instrument. You get a bunch of feedback loops. It gets to be a little complicated. Like I've, I've had jobs where I was, like I, I was twisted all out of shape, but if I moved out of that position, there would be a big feedback. Yeah. So you'd have to spend the whole night playing in a twisted position just so you wouldn't get the feedback. But uh, when you play, it's mostly single. Uh, yeah, mostly and you can just grab your accordion. Well, I play a lot for nothing at hospitals and old age homes, mm -hmm. and I join in with a group there. I just lend a hand, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't go single. But sometimes I just go single and play alone. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to take a little intermission on this interview here. We'll come back to you in just a bit. Thank you, Alec.